I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody. So I'm sure some of you guys out there may have wondered, what would happen if I disconnect my hard drive in my computer? Guys, this is something I don't recommend doing because, uh, of course, it could result in file corruption or data loss, but we're getting ready to re-image this machine anyway, so for those who are curious, I'm going to do it. We're going to disconnect the SATA cable from the hard drive. And let's see what happens. Let's keep it on the desktop. It's now disconnected. Hard drive is totally disconnected from the motherboard now. Let's see how long it takes for it to crash. Mouse cursor still works. It still shows the date and time. It still shows my icons, or the assistant tray icons. Right clicking still works on the uh, taskbar. You may have seen right away that the uh, as soon as I unplugged the hard drive, the desktop background went away. I'm amazed this is still running. <laughs> Start menu no longer works. You can't find the task manager because it can't access the hard drive. File Explorer can't load. Nothing can load. Notifications won't pull up. I can't pull up the calendar. Oh, looks like Explorer, Explorer has frozen. Oh, uh oh. We still have a mouse cursor. No blue screen yet. Let's try control delete. Nothing. I'm amazed it's still running. I would have thought that it would have uh, blue screened and like right away. Mind you, this is a C drive we disconnected. Uh oh. <laughs> One drive's not happy. Uh oh. Wow. I'm really surprised. It's going to crash eventually, I'm sure. Interesting. So clicking does absolutely nothing. So it looks like we've ended up with the mouse cursor just uh, being able to move the mouse cursor and that's about it. I can't believe this has not blue screened yet. We, we've we've disconnected we've com we've totally disconnected the C drive for this machine. Just for the heck of it, I'll pop the uh, SATA data cable back into the drive. Let's see if it does anything. So we're probably we're, we're probably already done by now. 
And of course the files and stuff are still intact on the drive. Yeah, we're we're done. It's just oh, oh, <laughs> it reset. Yep, it crashed. It crashed. Okay, hard drive is disconnected, data wise. Now, some of you might be asking, well, why did you just do that? Well, I'm about to show you why. So this is why I just did that. This cable right here goes to the Plexi, and that's what I used to image drives with. I just, instead of taking the whole hard drive out of the machine, just turn the machine around, snake this set of data cable and around and plug it into the drive, and lead the drive inside the existing machine, let it run off the existing power supply, and I can just image it in place. So, yeah, what I just did earlier did not do any harm to the system itself, but I wouldn't recommend doing that if you care about your uh, files because uh, that could corrupt your OS and other things. But in the case of this, we're just we're just imaging this. We're getting ready to wipe this anyway and image it with a fresh uh, system image. So I'm going to take the opportunity to show you guys what would happen in the case of your C drive getting disconnected from your system while it's running. And the results, in my opinion, were a little surprising. I was expecting a blue screen of death right away, but uh, no, that didn't that actually didn't happen. I'm surprised that the system actually uh, ran for another like couple minutes, although it was very limited of what it could do, not being able to access the uh, hard drive. But uh, yeah, that was that was kind of interesting. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for your support.